Say we have more power than the devil. Well, I'm gonna make that statement again. Praise the Lord, because I'm not afraid to say that we have more power than the devil. The Bible says he has given to the church. Now hear me. He has given to the church authority over all the authority of hell. You can cast out devils if you don't have more power than the devil. Oh my Lord. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, while well, some folks got upset with me because they didn't have the courage nor the strength to tell the devil to come out.
God bless you, my brothers and sisters. And Bishop Hunter from the St. Thomas Chapel of Pentecostal Holiness Church. We are in uh, Greensboro, 633 Highway 150 West. Don't forget that. That's our location. We are privileged to just have a few uh, people coming in to do this service for you. May the Lord bless all of our members, all of you that are listening and uh, tuning in. We want to say thank you. May God bless you. We are very proud how the Lord has blessed us and renewed our strength. He has kept us and the blood has covered us. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, I pray for the listening audience that will be listening to the word of God. I pray, Lord, that they will be encouraged, they will be inspired. Lord, they will find joy, they will find a word of hope, a word of peace at such a time that we are living in. Lord, I pray for our seniors of our present church. I pray for the world, even though the world might not love you, but I pray for those that the Father has given you, yes. even in the world. Amen and amen. amen. Now from the book of Daniel for about 23 minutes, uh, I'm going to talk to you from uh, in the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon. Uh -huh. Daniel had a dream and a vision. Then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matter. Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heaven strove upon the great sea. And the four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another. Now, I cannot read all of this. So I'm going to drop down to verse 17, chapter 7, verse 17. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and forever. Verse 22, drop down to verse 22. Until the ancients of days came and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Verse 27. In the kingdom and dominion and of the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all shall serve and obey him. Therefore, Hitherto is the end of the matter. And as for Daniel, my constituents must trouble me and my continent changed in me. But I kept the matter to myself or in my heart. My brothers and sisters, I, I love what's going on here. Daniel saw the righteous prevailing in terrible time. Amen. Hallelujah. I, uh, I don't want to sound too repetitious, but out of all that's going on in our country, folks are upset, the politicians, all over our country, all over our 50 states are upset. The senators, the House of Representatives, That's right. 
the governors, the mayors, mm -hmm. they all are upset. They're fussing and fighting for power. Amen. It's a power struggle. Mm -hmm. Well, a power struggle is nothing new for the saints. Uh, the righteous men battling the devil ever since the Garden of Eden. Ever since the devil caused Adam and Eve to sin, we have been in a spiritual war. We talk about the war between the state. We'll talk about World War I, World War II, the Korean War, the Philippine War. We talk about the Vietnam War. Well, let me tell you, saints of God, we have been fighting a war from generation to generation to generation, amen, and the war of sin has not climaxed in any area. Christ came as we preach in December, born in a manger, the city of Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. Guess what? There was hatred in politics because baby Jesus was born and was going to be a king in Jerusalem. War is nothing strange to the same. We fight a spiritual war. Paul said we wrestle not with flesh and blood. Amen. In principality and power. Hallelujah. But our warfare is with an invisible, this is what they like, they like that word, an invisible war. Well, I can't see the devil with my natural eyes, but we do recognize the devil when he gets in people. I'm going to pause right there. I'm going to take an inhale and an exhale on that one. All right. Jesus. Daniel was curled away in the Babylon. He was a young man. Him, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, all of them was young men in probably in their late 20s or early 30s and the most. And he said, I had a vision. Mm -hmm. And in the vision, now, think about when Daniel had this vision. That's what Daniel saw. He saw some stuff that ought to make the righteous get up and run around the church. He saw an end time situation. In this end time vision, he said, the church will prevail. Yeah. He used the word saints. Praise the Lord. People got upset with me a few years back. They got upset. And you know why they got upset? I'm going to tell you. Praise the Lord. Because I made the statement that we have more power than the devil. People got upset with me because I said we have more power than the devil. Well, I'm going to make that statement again. 
praise the Lord, because I'm not afraid to say that we have more power than the devil. The Bible says he has given to the church. Now hear me. He has given to the church authority over all the authority of hell. You can't cast out devils if you don't have more power than the devil. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, while well, some folks got upset with me because they didn't have the courage nor the strength to tell the devil to come out. I can't see you, but you're getting out of here. Uh-huh. Satan, you are not going to rule my house. No, sir. I, got it. I refuse to let you come in, take over my life, take over my household, and you never pay a dime in utilities and gas bills. Neither do you pay rent in my house. I Therefore, I invite you Jesus. get out of my house. Thank you, Jesus. That's kind of strong, but I don't like weak coffee. I like strong coffee. Hallelujah. Some say black. I got you, Doc. Listen. Daniel said, thank you, in verse 18, y'all making me work up a sweat. <laughs> but this, in verse 18, the seventh chapter of Daniel, said, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. When, I love it, I love it, I love it. I preached it years ago when I was in my 20s. When this old world began to reel and rock like a drunker, like a drunk man, a drunk woman, now I have to kind of change it. Cause some of them are not drunk on liquor, they're high on drugs. But they're still reeling and they're still rocking. Now, But God said the righteous shall take the kingdom. Why the mystery of iniquity does work, the mystery of godliness is greater. My brothers and sisters, let me tell you, I serve a God that do not take a back seat from the devil. Amen. I know that's right. <laughs> when Christ was on earth, he put the devil out the temple. He knocked over the many chambers and told them, my house shall be called the house of prayer. If the righteous ever Morning, a prayer life. Now is the time. Amen. That's the truth. You know, um, this, let me take my glasses back off. This generation doesn't talk a lot about shut in. Mm -hmm. When I was coming up, we had shut in. We were shut in and we would pray and sing and pray. Sing and pray. Sing and pray. That's what we did. Now, when we uh, talk about a shut-in, it's almost like we have used bad words in the church. 
Why did I bring that up? I brought that up because the pandemic got you shut in. Whoa! Help me, Holy Ghost. The pandemic got you shut in. So while you are shut in, why not give God a good prayer life? Pray for your church. Pray for your leadership. Pray for the same. Pray that God will open up the eyes of your understanding and in all your ways. For not acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. And he, he the Holy Ghost, yes. he, the Holy Spirit, he, the powerhouse, will direct your path. Yeah, Cut out your foolishness. Mm -hmm. Cut out playing church. Uh -huh. If you shut in, praise the Lord, you done got home one other night. Go in the room. Close the door and say, leave me alone. That's good advice. Say a prayer. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it ain't but two in the house. Then if it ain't but one in the house, go in the room, shut the door, and tell your phone, don't ring until I come out. Y'all right. can laugh right there. Now, I got to go a little further. Verse 27. In the kingdom, the world, in dominion, in the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven. Now notice it said the whole heaven. I just wanted to stop there. I just wanted to stop right there. The pandemic is everywhere. Now they're talking about another strand and another strand. If God cannot get our attention, he will allow circumstances right. to get your attention. Sure no, it, I, I have a message coming up for you on Sunday. So if you want to come and be with me on Sunday, in the parking lot, bring your overcoat. Praise the Lord. If you forget your overcoat, bring your Bible. Uh, I have a word for you, but I can't do it right now. Uh -huh. The righteous will prevail. Yes. Russia is upset. Cuba is upset. Germany is upset. England is upset. All around the world, they are tweet, tweet. All over. If it ain't one thing, it's another. When the world Cry. Now hear me. When the world is crying, the righteous are the found peace. Yes, that's I'm going to say it again. When the world is upset, it's time for the sake of the most high God to cry peace. Stop bowing down to the God of politics Amen. and rise up, rise up and worship the true and the living God. Yes. 
Hallelujah. I refuse the God now to politics. If you want to tear up your country, that's your business. But there is a kingdom that you will not tear up. And that is the kingdom of God. Uh huh. I'm like Paul now. Whether I'm asleep or whether I'm awake, whether I'm a dead or whether I'm alive, I shall be with the Lord. Oh, yeah. There is another death. And a lot of you listening to me, you may die the first death, but may God help you on the second death. Old folk used to say, I didn't die in one time. I don't have to die no more. Right. Yes, sir. You can destroy my earthly house, but you won't destroy my house, which is not made with hand. I love preaching. I love doing what I'm doing. I love telling the truth. And let me tell you, there is light in the tongue. Yes. Oh, listen to me, Holy Ghost filled people. There is light in the tongue. Right. This is a nothing but an uprising in the world. Praise the Lord. And the Lord is shaking us. Yes. Or he's sifting us. When the sifting, when the sifting is over, I pray that you will remain. Yes. Yes. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. Devil, praise the Lord, you can try all of your weapons, but no weapon. Born against the righteous shall prosper. I love you. My time is about up and I'm going to have to bring it to a close. So listen, I trust that you will wait on the Lord. And whatever you do, don't let nobody steal your joy. Amen. You hear me? Whatever you do, don't let nobody steal your joy. Philippians 4 and 4 say the joy of the Lord. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, the joy of the Lord. Some of my worst moments in my life when I thought I was through, but the joy of the Lord pulled me out. And he'll pull you out. And he'll pull you out. And he will help you and the late Billy Graham would always sing that song in all of his meaning, just as I am without one plea. Oh, Lamb of God, I come. That man feel arenas ever before Bishop Yank came along. Amen. Billy Graham Feel stadium ever before all of these other big evangelists came along. Joel Osteen, praise the Lord, never filled a stadium like Billy Graham. And at the end, he had them to come by hundreds yes. coming to the altar, giving their lives to Christ. And he held that Bible up and he preached the word of God, and he said, just as you are, come to Jesus. Jesus loves you, and Jesus will save you. God bless you.